Hey, welcome back. Our next guest is Linda Ann Kahn, owner and founder of one of San Diego's most remarkable day spas and wellness centers, Beauty Clinique Aromatherapy Day Spa and Wellness Center, having their 31st birthday bash on October 20th, and her guest and patient, Sarah. They are here to talk about something important, especially for breast cancer survivors in honor of Breast Cancer Month. Good morning to both of you. We've got our boas on this morning. We are getting into uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month spirit, aren't we? Yes, we certainly are. It's so nice to have both of you Thank here. You. Thank you for coming in. Uh, Linda Ann, I want to start with you. Let's talk a little, a little bit about what you are doing. Right now, you've trained internationally to really research something that a lot of people don't know about. We're talking about lymphedema, right? Yes, absolutely. I trained in Austria and Germany and Australia. I really traveled the world so that I could learn the best techniques to help patients with lymphedema, mm -hmm. which is a devastating disease. Yeah, let's talk about it because I was, I was talking to some of my producers and a lot of women in the newsroom this morning. A lot of people didn't know about this. Mm -hmm. Let's kind of spell it out. Let's talk about what this is and what breast cancer survivors need to know about right. it. Well, 10 to 20, to actually 10 to 40 percent of patients who've had breast cancer surgery can actually develop lymphedema. Mm, okay. And lymphedema is a devastating disease. It is an accumulation of fluids within the connective tissue and the arm can really swell to enormous proportions. Okay. And that can be a direct result of the axillary dissection and radiation. So what, what do you need to know if you are a breast cancer survivor? It it's obviously has to do with your lymph nodes and perhaps lymph, lymph nodes that have been removed and whatnot. Right. What, do, what questions right. do you need to ask? Where do you get the help if you, if you feel that you may have something like this? Because you, you and I were talking earlier. You said mm -hmm. it is so important for early detection with this. We talk about that with breast, with cancer, breast cancer, but we also need to talk about it with this as yes, well. Yes, that is absolutely true. Because of the patients who do get lymphedema, the 10 to 40 percent of patients who do get lymphedema, 80% of them will be within the first three years. Okay. So if they come in and have a consultation with a qualified lymphedema therapist, mm -hmm. we can actually help to reduce the risk of lymphedema occurring through education and treatment. Okay, important. Sarah is here this morning, one of your patients. And mm -hmm. Sarah, talk to us a little bit about lymphedema, uh, you know, what you've gone through and how it's affected you. Well, I was diagnosed uh, with breast cancer in 1992 and then again in 1993 it was a new cancer and I had my nodes dissected to check if the, the cancer had gone to the lymph nodes and um, due to that and also the use of, I used crutches because I had polio, mm. uh, that I think contributed to me developing lymphedema mm. and actually one arm is much bigger than the other if you can see. And uh, I, when I first was diagnosed 18 years ago, there were only three therapists in town and one of them was Linda Ann. Mm -hmm. And I went to see her and it was really an eye-opening experience because I had no idea what was going on. And now and again I go b to back to see her and I have to go back because I just had an infection in my arm. One of the things that lymphedema does is that it puts you at risk of having a cellulitis infection. And cellulitis means that the cells of the muscle get uh, infected and then you swell, you have a fever. I mean, it's really sickening. Sarah, you are such a hero. You are such a survivor. <laughs> no, really listening you. to your story and everything you've gone Thank through. You. Thank you. Thank for you for being here this morning to talk about this because, you know, I bet there's a lot of women out there who are going through the same stuff and, and they I don't know where yeah. to turn. Yeah, and I hope um, they, can, they, they can be helped, yeah. especially, like you say, if you feel, you know, your, your clothes being tight, that's a, that's a sign that you sign. need to... Real Go fast, for early detection. Real fast, Linda Ann, we have a special that you're doing right now. This yes. is for all of you out there who maybe you can relate to what Sarah has gone through. Tell us about that special. Right. Um, we are offering a special of 50% off of an initial consultation, evaluation, and treatment mm -hmm. for the manual lymph drainage, which is part of the treatment of lymphedema. Mm -hmm. And then we actually have a survivor evening tomorrow night. We have 25 breast cancer survivors coming wow. for complimentary lectures, treatments, and um, festivities tomorrow night. All right. Well, this, is a, this has been a special interview. I thank you both for being here. Linda Ann, thank you for what you are doing, obviously yes. making a difference in, in the lives of so many. And Sarah, thank you for sharing your story. I thank know you. it's not easy to do.